for another two hours of non-stop great stuff on Retro Rock Live. Hello, it's Mark Flanagan in for your Sunday night. Flying solo, because Ben Hollis has decided to take a couple of weeks off. He's taken his girlfriend on a little cruise. Yes, just a little cruise. I wish them well, because for some reason they got on board the SS Poseidon. I don't know, I'm a little bit concerned. I don't know about you. We've got plenty of great music on the way tonight, some good news stories as well. And also, somewhere along the lines, we are also going to try and answer the following question. Why is it that insurance always seems to cover everything except whatever happens? Think about it. It always does, doesn't it? Let's get rip, rip right into the music now, getting us underway. He's quite right. Come on, feel the noise. That's what we get tonight on Retro Rock Live. Point three to GLF. 89.3 to GLF. Time to check out some famous birthdays. People who are celebrating their birthday today. Like I said, there's not too many. Only two people really of uh, much note. John Cusack, American actor, is celebrating his birthday today. As is Mel Brooks, one of the greatest actors and directors and writers and screenwriters responsible for so many great comedy movies as well as... One of the driving forces behind the TV show, Get Smart. Well, it's his birthday today. He's in his 90s as well. He's quarter flash now. Some great funk there from Grace Jones. And slave to the rhythm on Retro Rock Live. Mark Flanagan in for your Sunday night. Great to have you along. Do you remember the scene in the movie Animal House when Boone stuff, uh, stuffs Pinto's pants full of meat at the Food King? No? Well, get the movie out and go and see it. But trust me, it's a funny scene. It's a great movie after all. Well, the following story is basically that's what happened, but a lot more stupid. You see, a man and a woman have been arrested in central Florida after police say they stole more than $300 worth of meat from a grocery store. Now, deputies reported that 48-year-old Doris Rowe and 54-year-old Kenneth Edwards drove around about 40 k's to the Winn-Dixie store where a store manager saw Rowe stuffing meat products and other items into her pants. That's right, her pants. Now, deputies say that the manager stopped Rowe as she... Um, Sorry, the deputy said that the manager stopped Rowe and she hit the manager in the neck, dropping pork ribs, two packs of detergent and three water fillers. Or filters, I should say. Rowe then fled the store and got into Edward's truck, who was obviously out the side, outside, gun in the engine, waiting to go. Deputies apprehended them at a local traffic stop. Both were charged with grand theft and robbery. Unfortunately, though, police had to throw away all the meat they confiscated from searching Rowe's pants, after all. Meat and fish don't really mix, do they? I'm sorry, I had to go there, didn't I? <laughs> Flick, we'd make it a sec, but here's the zombies now on Retro Rock Live. Well, no one told me about her. Blood, sweat and tears and when I die on Retro Rock Live. Just about time for us to get out of here before we do... Some little flashes of news that came across the desk during the week. Following recent experiments, physicists apparently are closer to understanding what dark matter is all about. Meanwhile, the general public are a lot further from understanding what the hell physicists are or what they're doing. Uh, in results from a recent study into polygamy, apparently it shows the more wives that you have, the more risk of heart disease you have. Now, the logical solution, obviously, is then is no wives, no risk. Hmm. Engineers apparently have been warning the internet could reach its capacity in the next eight years. And once it does, then we'll all be forced to face reality again. Isn't that horrifying? Uh, apparently, 18 has solved the Rubik's Cube in a record-smashing 5.25 seconds. Now, he did want to share the news with his girlfriend, but he doesn't have one. And finally, 1,600 ATO workers apparently have failed to lodge their tax returns over the last couple of years. They've been too busy mailing out penalty notices to taxpayers for late payments. Look at the time! Well, the boss is on the corner. Do it your dealer. Keep all the on the wheel. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So till next time. Move them on. Get them. Get them up. Move them on. Move them on. Get them. Raw hard. Well, 
there you go. We're done for another Sunday night. It's good to have you here. I'm going home now. It's time for you to go to bed, uh, depending on what part of the world you're in, or it's time for you to get up. Get out of bed! Well, it's time for lunch. Dep I don't know, wherever part of the world you're in. www.retrorocklive.com and you can uh, check out to listen live when we're on air or to uh, go through the on-demand links and listen back to some of this best stuff of this program, which we're still trying to sort through and find at least one best bit from the last eight years. Hmm. I'll be back again next Sunday night from eight, uh, sorry, from 10, I should say. See, there's another best bit blown out the window. Um, and Ben will still be away next week. The boat he's on, the SS Poseidon, well, hopefully it will be back in dock uh, next month, uh, tomorrow week. So he'll be back in two weeks' time. Until then, have yourselves a great week. Love you all, and good night. Thank you.